Western Massachusetts has to fight really hard to get its share of resources, and everybody out here knows that that's the case. And uh, one of the areas where we feel that there's been some uh, inequality is the fact that the Mass Bay Transportation Authority, otherwise known as the T, which serves uh, approximately 50 communities in eastern Massachusetts, they get a dedicated revenue source for their public transportation. Uh, we out here in western Massachusetts and in the other 13 regional transportation authorities, uh, we don't have a dedicated revenue source. We have to fight every year to get our funding in the annual operating budget. And there's a further problem when you're dealing with the regional transportation authorities, and that is that it's the only part of government that has what is known as lag funding. That is, a budget is approved uh, by the local organization, that is the PVTA or the Franklin Transportation Authority or any one of the other 12, and then they spend the money, and then at the end of the fiscal year, they send the bill to the state, and the state then appropriates the money to pay for last year's services, as opposed to appropriating money for next year's services. Well, we had the same problem with the T, and in the mid-1990s, we fixed the problem by going to forward funding. What it required was to appropriate twice as much money in one fiscal year so that we could pay the bills for the previous year and have the money in the budget for the next year. Well, the way we did that was to bond the previous year's spending and pay for it over a number of years and then put the, the uh, funding for the next fiscal year in the budget. And uh, so we want to do the same thing for our regional transportation authorities because otherwise they have to go out and borrow money, spend their budget, pay interest on the money that uh, they're using to pay uh, for their operations, and then come to the Commonwealth, get their budget uh, reimbursed for the expenses for the previous year, including the interest on the borrowing. So we want to stop that, and we've been trying to fix that for, oh, probably a dozen years or so now. And finally, we decided to organize a caucus, a, a gathering of legislators. It's not a, a, a standing committee. It's not an official committee. It's a voluntary committee that members of the legislature come together and form in order to work together on behalf of a particular cause or issue. And so in this case, the Regional Transportation Authority Caucus was born. And Dan Bosley, former state representative from North Adams, and I were the co-chairs of it. And over the course of uh, three years, we were able to fix a number of the problems with the RTAs, uh, being able to use the full faith and credit of the Commonwealth, for example, uh, allowed for lower interest rates on their borrowing. And so that was a benefit. We also were able to uh, fight to make sure that they were getting adequate funding in the budget to pay the bills for the previous year, even in the years when we're having recessions and, uh, and the funding is more difficult to come by. So uh, because they had already spent the money, we argued they had to get that amount of money uh, and could not absorb cuts. And so we kept uh, working on a variety of these things, including uh, forward funding. And um, finally, we were challenged by the administration because they said, look, we're going to have to come up with $65 million to do the paying off of the previous year's funding and the six, roughly $65 million for the next year. So we have to come up with $130 million all at once. Well, we try to convince them that they just had to bond, as we did for the MBTA, the previous uh, year's spending and use the operating budget money for uh, going forward. Well, too many complications in terms of a variety of financing problems with our bond cap and, and uh, uh, other obligations that they had already made for transportation and felt they couldn't get it. So they challenged us and they said, well, if you can find the money, we'll work with you to figure out how to do the forward funding. And so we did some research and we discovered the toll credit program at the federal level. The toll credit program is actually tied to maintenance of toll roads that have both a state designation and a federal designation, such as the Mass Turnpike. So um, we put language into a transportation bond that the administration should uh, do the homework necessary to uh, join the toll credit program and then join it. Well, two years later, I'm happy to report it worked. We now have membership in the toll credit program. 
we've received two years uh, retroactive payment for a total of about uh, $85 million from the federal government. This is money we would not otherwise have gotten into the Commonwealth. And um, we're about to apply for uh, next year's uh, uh, share of the money. And uh, we expect to get somewhere between 35 and $50 million a year uh, each year going forward uh, for as long as this federal program exists. So um, as a result of this, the administration has redoubled their efforts and they're working with us to try to find a method for uh, doing the uh, forward funding for the RTAs. Unfortunately, this federal money can't be used for this specific purpose because it can only be used uh, for the turnpike and in relation to the turnpike. But um, in the effort to find money to do forward funding, we also found a, uh, a new uh, revenue source for transportation improvements in the Commonwealth, and we will soon have our forward funding accomplished, which will save money for our cities and towns on borrowing costs for the operations of uh, and the operating budgets for our regional transportation authorities, and uh, we will soon uh, have them funded in the same way as all other state agencies, submitting a budget uh, in anticipation of a new fiscal year, and then having that budget approved by the legislature, and then uh, receiving money as they go through the year so they do not have to borrow to uh, do their operations. So um, it's one of those um, unexpected uh, benefits of having formed the Regional Transportation Authority Caucus, and we soon hope to have our goal of forward funding accomplished, but we also uh, found a way of attracting more federal funds into Massachusetts to support transportation.